All right, boy, a little video here with a GS2 version 200 with a bear dog. You know, something to share, and I'll lay you money. A lot of people did what I'm going to show here. And if you did this, you know, it would mislead you, okay? It's probably why this was not discovered on this detector. Even though Sharpshooter did this, okay? Sensitive FT 6.8 disc, no notch. Now I've got a single clad dime, and you see that nail there. Now, notice that's all iron tone. Naturally, you know, we can cross and hear the dime, okay? Now I've got that ruler set up for my sweep. I want you to listen to this. Now, this is conventional setting, okay? Now listen. Hear that signal? Pretty good signal, huh? Pretty clean right there. All right, so when the folks got their day as twos and they started experimenting, they probably did that right there. And they probably did this right here. Run the disc down. All right. How's that sound? That don't sound very good, does it? 6.8 discs there. No notch does a better job, huh? Well, that's not the only thing it does a better job at, but, you know, there's a trade-off here, and I'll show you. So now the disc is still at zero, and you just heard the machine swept the last time with no notch at zero discs. Full tones, offset was at 20. Now we're going in here to the notch. We're going to notch two through seven. See it in the window there? Now listen how this machine sounds now. It actually sounds worse than 6.8 discs. I'll let you listen. Doesn't sound as good. Not as clean sounding. So a person could be led, you know, running the disc down on this machine using no notch. We can understand why they was like, well, 6.8 looks like that's where we need to be. Now the offset's dialed up on this machine, okay? That's a 20 you're hearing right now. All right, I'm gonna lower that. That's 12. That's five. So if you're gonna use full tones in the bird dog system, my recommendation is to get that offset up because it's throwing this tone that it's given into the first non-ferrous band. Here's 25, what does it sound like? Hear that? Now, remember, conventional program, we're getting signal there with this, with this bird dog notch in this machine. See that notch right there? So in the wild, if I heard that, with these sets in this machine, I would be turning, okay? Boom. Just thought I would share this, you know. It sort of gives you some insight, you know, on how this come to be. I'll show you one more thing here. Well, I've got this camera on. We're going back to 6.8 disc, and we're going to take the notch out of the machine. Okay, we're going to keep the silencer at 1, no not, 6.8 disc, speed is 2.5. Now watch this, you know, you've been using these machines conventionally, you know, and this might shed light on what you've been hearing and you just didn't know, your sharpshooter included. That nail there, listen, 
You hear that? Now I've got a three in the meter there. Notice that. Hear that sound? Okay. And watch what happens when I put the dime in there. Now listen. Change his pitch. It gets duller. And I get the one in the meter. Alright, I'm going to remove the dime. Hear that? The pitch on that nail is higher. Because it's reading higher ID. But you put a non-ferrous target in there. And the pitch goes lower. Hmm, backwards thinking, huh? Well, you see what the sharpshooter was doing to discover this now, right? Just sharing data, folks. I hope you enjoyed.